Did you know that some prayers never get answered? It may seem controversial, but there are surprising biblical reasons that explain why God might ignore certain prayers. Today, we will reveal the seven attitudes that can block your prayers and how you can quickly transform this. Stay with us until the end and join in a powerful prayer that can change your spiritual life. Are you ready to discover these truths and start seeing immediate results in your prayers? Don't miss out. Have you ever stopped to think about the immensity of God? He is so omnipresent and omniscient that he is aware of everything that happens in the universe. His eyes scan every corner and nothing escapes his perception. King David deeply understood this truth and expressed it in Psalm 33 saying, from his throne, the Lord looks down and sees all mankind, he who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. How fascinating it is to know that God not only sees, but also hears the pleas and desires of every human being. However, this does not imply that all prayers are answered. There are times when, for specific reasons, the Lord chooses not to respond to appeals. And this is precisely what we are going to explore in this video. The seven specific conditions mentioned in the Bible that can lead God to not answer certain prayers. Are you ready to find out what these situations are? Let's go. The first category of people whose prayers may not be answered are unbelievers. To illustrate, let's look at what is narrated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11. You came back and wept before the Lord, but he paid no attention to your weeping and turned a deaf ear to you. In this verse, Moses reminds the Israelites that God had promised to bring them to the Promised Land and ensure their victory. When they approached Canaan, twelve spies, one from each tribe, were sent to explore the land that God would give them. However, ten of these spies were intimidated by seeing the Amorites, who were strong and feared, and brought discouraging news to the people, who then doubted God's promise and murmured against him. Because of this disbelief and murmuring, God decided that none of them except Joshua and Caleb, who remained loyal, would enter the Promised Land. The people, remorseful, tried to reconcile, but it was too late, and the Lord refused to listen to their pleas. Thus, when someone doubts divine power and complains in the face of obstacles, God may choose to ignore their prayers. Therefore, if you have allowed challenges to seem greater than your faith and live complaining about circumstances, stop right now. This attitude can make your prayers unanswered, just as happened with the people of Israel who paid a high price for their lack of faith. However, with you, the story can be different thanks to the redeeming sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Through this act, all our sins can be forgiven as long as there is genuine repentance for our failures. The second category of people that God may choose not to listen to are those who do not repent of their sins. In Isaiah 59, it is stated, Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear, but your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. Just as in the time of Moses, when the people of Israel had their prayers ignored, the same occurred under the watch of the prophet Isaiah. This happened because these people chose to follow a path of sin instead of seeking the divine presence. They turned to false gods and followed their own desires. Because of this, God, in his anger, decided to turn away from these individuals. Sin, therefore, is a formidable obstacle that separates man from God. It obscures the relationship and prevents full communion, causing prayers not only to go unanswered, but also to lack the ability to reach the divine heart. When we keep sin active in our lives without fighting against it, God may cease to respond to our prayers. This happens because we choose to satisfy the desires of the flesh instead of pursuing holiness. It is not about seeking perfection, but about recognizing our sinful nature, renouncing wrong ways, and allowing the Holy Spirit to transform us. The third type of person whose prayers God does not attend to is one who ignores his words. 
as it is written in Proverbs chapter 1. When they call to me, I will not answer. When they look for me, they will not find me. Since they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Since they would not accept my advice and spurned my rebuke. They will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. In this text, King Solomon warns that God will not attend to the prayers of those who scorn his counsel, ignore his wisdom, and do not maintain fear in their hearts. For your prayers to be heard, it is essential to turn your ears and heart to what the Lord says. This can be done by reading the Bible, meditating on His words, participating in worship services, listening to praise music, and attending inspiring sermons and messages. Additionally, it is crucial to obey when you hear the Lord's voice. Solomon concludes this proverb by assuring that all those who listen to and obey the Lord will live in peace without fear of harm. The fourth type of person whose prayers are not attended to by God is one who does not help their neighbor. King Solomon offers valuable insights on this aspect of faith in Proverbs chapter 21. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. If you avoid engaging with others and never find time to help those in need, your prayers may be disregarded by God. You may be diligent in Bible reading, worship services and praise, but if you fail to extend a hand to those who need material, emotional or spiritual support, God may act the same way with you. Besides having your prayers unanswered, Jesus warns us about the severe consequences of neglecting our neighbors. He questions us in a poignant passage. I was hungry and you did not feed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. And when asked when they failed to help him, Jesus responds, Truly, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. He concludes that those who do not help their neighbor are destined for eternal punishment, while the righteous will attain eternal life. The fifth type of person whose prayers may not be answered by God is one who does not honor their spouse. The Apostle Peter advises us, Husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives, and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life, so that nothing will hinder your prayers. In this text, Peter emphasizes the need for harmony and mutual respect in the home. Although he addresses husbands in this verse, the lesson applies to both spouses. If a couple lives in harmony, their prayers are more likely to be heard and answered according to divine will. On the other hand, if a husband or wife acts with disrespect or humiliation toward the other, their prayers may be blocked, for God considers marriage a sacred institution that should be valued and respected. Therefore, if you are married, it is crucial to maintain peace with your partner. This not only benefits the relationship, but is also vital for your spiritual journey. Naturally, disagreements and conflicts may occur between the couple, as we are human and make mistakes. The essential thing is that both know how to resolve these differences promptly, allowing their prayers to continue being heard by God. The sixth type of person that God chooses not to hear is the hypocrite. Let's explore another revealing passage from the prophet Isaiah that addresses the nature of prayers that God will ignore. In the first chapter of Isaiah, we find a severe critique, the multitude of your sacrifices. What are they to me, says the Lord? Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense is detestable to me. I cannot bear your evil assemblies, your new moon feasts, and your appointed festivals I hate with all my being. They have become a burden to me. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not listening. Your hands are full of blood. 
As evidenced in the video, the Israelites persisted in a life marked by idolatry, disobedience, and rebellion. They believed they could obtain divine forgiveness merely with animal sacrifices, incense offerings, and grand celebrations without renouncing their sins. Faced with this hypocrisy, the Lord expressed disgust for their offerings and declared that he would not attend to their prayers, no matter how many they multiplied. This attitude remains a powerful reminder. God continues to ignore hypocrites today, just as he did in the past. God does not attend to those who proclaim themselves as Christians, but in reality live a superficial faith, more concerned with appearances than with essence. They may pray loudly and show superficial zeal, but this is only to impress others. People who teach about the values of the kingdom of God, but do not live them out, fail in their testimony. Therefore, if you want your prayers to be heard by God, avoid being a hypocrite. Do not pretend to be someone you are not. Jesus values more someone who, with all their flaws, remains authentic and seeks improvement than someone who pretends to be a fervent and holy Christian without truly being so. We all face moments of weakness and fluctuations in faith, which is natural. The problem lies in living behind masks, which truly displeases the Lord. The seventh type of person God does not attend to is the selfish one. As pointed out by the Apostle James, there are those who desire things but do not attain them. And even though they fight and quarrel, their prayers go unanswered because they are motivated by selfish reasons, seeking only their own pleasure. Often we become frustrated because we do not understand why our prayers are not answered, but frequently it is because we ask selfishly, desiring things that seem good only to us, but are not aligned with God's will. When praying, do as Jesus did in Gethsemane before being arrested and crucified. Open your heart to the Lord, share your desires, but leave the final decision in His hands. After all, no one knows better than God what is good for your life. And even if something goes against your will, understand that there is a divine purpose for everything that happens. These are seven types of people whose prayers may not be answered. If you want your prayers to be heard, it is essential to eliminate these obstacles that interfere with your communion with the Lord. By doing this, I'm confident that your spiritual life will be deeply transformed and that the Lord will answer your prayers at the right time and according to His will. Amen. I hope this message has been enriching. Don't leave yet. If you found value in this message, imagine how much more you can receive by delving into our community. Each video on this channel is a window to profound transformations in your spiritual life. Give a like if you identified with any of these points, subscribe so you don't miss our future revelations, and activate the bell to be the first to watch. Share this video. It could be the answer someone close to you is seeking. And don't forget to leave your comment below. We greatly value what you think and how this message touched your heart. And now, let's unite in prayer, allowing the Holy Spirit to move our hearts and minds, we pray. Almighty Lord, we come to you at this time with humble hearts and receptive spirits. Father, we acknowledge our failures and the times when our prayers were muffled by the noise of our own wills and selfish desires. O oh God, purify us from all hypocrisy, selfishness and disbelief that may dwell in our hearts. Pour out your Spirit upon us, renew our strength and revive our faith. May we not be mere listeners of your word, but true practitioners of your will. May our lives reflect your glory and love. Lord, we cry out for a touch from you, that each person who hears this prayer may be touched in a special way. May they not leave the same way they came, but be transformed and renewed by your power. We are thirsty for more of you, more of your presence and your guidance in our lives. May our prayers rise like pleasing incense to you, and may your mighty hand guide and protect us. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you all. See you in the next video. As we close another chapter together, I know some questions might still echo in your mind. 
You may be wondering how to navigate the complexities of spiritual life and unlock a path of abundance and blessings. The journey is challenging, but you don't have to walk it alone. In the comments, you'll find a powerful key to this door many seek to open. The ebook, Discover Prosperity with God, the ultimate guide to overcoming spiritual challenges and living a life of abundance. This is not just any book. It is the fruit of years of research, experience, and profound revelations now within your reach. Imagine overcoming the barriers that prevent your spiritual and financial growth. Think of the comfort and security of living a life aligned with the promises of prosperity meant for you. This ebook is more than words on a page. It's a map to the treasure you deserve. Join the many who are already on a path illuminated by faith and knowledge. The power to transform your life is just a click away. Check it out now in the comments and start your journey to a life of fulfillment and prosperity. Remember, prosperity with God is not just a distant dream. It's a promise waiting to be fulfilled. With this guide, you're one step closer to making it a reality. Your success story begins today.